안녕하세요 여러분 반갑습니다 오늘의 라이브 수업 시작하겠습니다 Let us begin today's live class Hello everyone, thanks for waiting More people than usual were waiting for the live session to begin and that shows your excitement toward today's content, today's topic <웃음> 안녕하세요 everybody uh, Let's see who was waiting here BAM TV, Gaila, uh, Azi, Angela Camila, Jeremia, um, 그 다음에 Destiny Gray, KD, Tatayu, uh, Phyllis, Dus, Magaela, 안녕하세요, 우주, 별, 그 다음에 Kirsi, 반갑습니다. So, <laughs> I know many people were actually commenting half jokingly on some of the dad joke videos that we posted on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Uh, many of you might not know that we're also on TikTok, so we post these um, to, to these three platforms and then um, many people commented that I should do a class or even make a book or a course explaining the dad jokes. And um, we aren't there yet. We aren't like planning or working on courses or books um, using dad jokes, but this is our first step. 이게 이제 첫 번째, 첫 단계예요, 첫 단계. 첫 단계 첫 단계 so, 첫 번째 단계 째 단계 So this is our first step If you guys like this, if you enjoy this and if the recorded uh, version, this recording um, gets a lot of views from many people maybe we'll consider creating a full course explaining some of the most common and some of the you know, best dad jokes Okay and uh, thank you for commenting on this t-shirt. Uh, I was actually wearing something black and we're going to show the video clips of our of my dad jokes with Yeji. And the background is black so that you can see the video clip better. So I was wearing something black and I had to quickly change into something and I looked into the closet. We don't offer merch now yet, but this was in the closet so I just put it on. 옷장, 사무실 옷장을 열었는데 이게 있더라고요. 그래서 이걸 입고 왔어요. Talk to me in Korean. Um, 라운드 셔츠, 라운, 라운드 넥이라고 하나요? 맨투맨. 오케이, 시작해 볼까요? So what we're going to do is we're going to watch 10 아재 개그 um, dad joke clips and I will let you sit through the clips, like each clip at least once. They're all very short. 아주 짧아요. 전부 다 아재 개그 클립이 정말 짧으니까 처음부터 끝까지 한 번씩 보여드릴 거예요. And um, you can enjoy those clips and if you were able to laugh at them uh, with me uh, before, you will enjoy it uh, like the same. But if you missed, missed something and if you feel like, okay, it's somewhat funny but I don't really get exactly why that's supposed to be super funny, I will explain. I will come back to, to this screen and explain. And let me explain the term 아재 개그 first. So, 개그 아재 is from 아저씨 and 개그 is um, humor or joke and I know in old English or like yeah, not old ancient English but you know uh, a long time ago this was also used to mean something funny that you say right and um, not, not so much anymore you call these um, people who are uh, making people laugh on stages or on TV Comedians, we uh, in Korean we do say komi komedian too, but uh, still a lot of people use the word kegumen kegumen to refer to comedians in Korean. So this portion kegu here, let me stay yeah get out of the way kegu is used to mean uh, a joke or a comedy. Okay, so that's why yeah gags uh, kegu. So that's why we use 아재 개그. You don't say 아재 농담, you don't say 아재 코미디, you don't say 아재 유머. Those things don't work. It's only 아재 개그, dad jokes. And 아저씨, 아재, what's the difference? It's a more um, familiar, endearing kind of term, but it also just means like somebody who's in their middle age, somebody who's trying too hard to be funny, your like boss who doesn't go home early, like always making jokes at every single thing you say, that's like kind of 아재. Yeah, 아빠 농담, you can't say 아빠 농담. 아빠 농담은 안 돼요. Like 아빠 농담, if you say 아빠 농담, it can be just a 농담, 
by a uh, appa. You know, ajae gegu and appa nongdam can be vastly different. Even though some appas, some nongdams can be in the ajae gegu category. So, yeah, not all appas in the world tell ajae gegu. Okay, so that's something that I wanted to explain right off the bat. Um, 바로 먼저 설명을 하고 싶었어요. 왜 아재 개그인가? 아재라는 단어, 개그라는 단어 이해를 해야 되죠. Okay, here's the first clip, and I will be playing those clips at a similar like audio volume. So let me know if it's too loud or too, too uh, quiet. Let's go. This one is uh, regarding the Marvel character Groot. Let's go. I am Groot. Oh, hi. I'm Groot. Did you get that? Did you enjoy that? How was the audio volume for you? Was it okay? Do I need to adjust anything? Let me know. This was our first Ajegegu video that we posted and um, funny story, I actually was sitting on this idea for many months, almost three months because um, Groot, Groot sound the same. So here, Groot is a bowl. Um, Pap Groot is a bowl for rice, steamed rice. Kuk Groot is bowl for soup. Audio was good for you? That's good. Yeah, Groot. And um, I, I'm a big fan of the Marvel series, especially the uh, movies where Groot appears, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers. And whenever Groot was like, I am Groot, or Groot, I was like always thinking, oh, I, gotta, I gotta do something about this really important situation where Groot and Groot sound the same. <laughs> yeah, Groot. Yeah, like Brenda. Hey, Brenda. Thanks for being here. Brenda, like Brenda is saying, Kurut is something that you don't get to say often or even learn in the first few like books or stages levels uh, as a Korean learner because it, it's, you don't, you know, you don't encounter it that often. But if you know it, you will never forget it. Oh, by the way, did you know that I have this secret book of Ajegegu that I can't show you the contents of? Whenever I run out of ideas, I look inside, and then there's light shining inside. Idea가 없을 때마다 안을 보면 영감을 얻어요. Yeah. So <laughs> that's my Ajay Gegu book. Um, if you watched Sungwan's recent mm -hmm. clip where he's uh, having a real conversation with me in the Korean real Korean office, I'm actually looking at this. Book. Um, like if you look at the clip where someone is like oh, leaving the room, 안녕하세요, and you can see me for like a split second. 잠깐 저를 잠깐 보실 수 있는데 그때 제가 이걸 들고 있어요. Doing some research. Yeah. 아 봤어요? 아, honey berries. You saw that? Okay. 밥 그릇, 국 그릇, 그릇. 음. Okay. 다음 두 번째 볼게 두 번째. Let's go to the next one. This is. Uh, about a piece of cake. So, here. With talk to me in Korean, learning Korean is a piece of cake. Hey, wanna dig into um, learning Korean? Yeah, I didn't use any like Korean words in this one, but um, I was looking at some cake making kits for children, families, like, you know, you have everything that you make cake with in that kit. It was like $10 or something. So I bought that off Kupang. Kupang is a Kupang is a very popular, commonly used Korean shopping mall. So I, I'm, I can't make those things really beautifully. So I asked my coworkers for help. 그래서 제 동료들이 예쁘게 만들어줬어요. 재미있게 만들어서 learning Korean. I didn't even I didn't even trust myself with the handwriting, so somebody else wrote it for me. So yeah, there you go. Um, piece of cake, a piece of cake. 
in Korean, if you translate it into uh, Korean, cake 한 조각, uh, it would be uh, cake 한 조각, cake 한 조각, 조각 is piece, so it's a counter for pieces. But do you know the Korean expression for this? A Korean idiom equivalent for this? 식은 죽 먹기 is actually uh, what you would say to mean a piece of cake. Something is easy. So it's a piece of cake. It's so easy because a piece of cake is so easy to eat and like kind of swallow. 식은 죽 먹기. 죽 is porridge, like really hot. Porridge is difficult to eat. 뜨거운 죽은 은 먹기 어렵잖아요. Uh, 뜨거운 죽, hot porridge. As for hot porridge, 먹기 어렵다 is to be difficult to eat, 어렵잖아요, you know. So um, if the porridge is cold, it's so easy. You can digest it really easily. So 식은 죽 먹기, 식은 죽 먹기. Just remember it like that and say it a few times. 식은 죽 먹기, 식은 죽 먹기. 아, 그건 식은 죽 먹기죠. Okay? All right, let's move on to the next one. 세 번째, 세 번째는 수학. 수학에 관련되어 있어요. It's related to math, 수학. When I was in elementary school, um, elementary school math, like relatively simple math, was called sansu, sansu. But these days, people don't use this word sansu anymore. So for me, elementary school math was sansu, and then eventually, when we went to middle school, it was proper mathematics. Uh, even though Korean mathematics curriculum is much more advanced than that of other language, uh, the other countries, but yeah, we were like going from sansu to suhak, but then these days, even elementary school students, they don't even know the word sansu. Um, they just know suhak. So, suhak, yeah, here. Kaji Si. 네. 10 더하기 10이랑 11 더하기 11이랑 똑같은 거 알았어요? 네? 10 더하기 10이 뭐예요? 20이요. 11 더하기 11은요? 20이요. All right, cringe. Um, <laughs> this works in in English too, right? So I heard this joke in English at first, and I was like, um, I had a feeling that it might work in Korean as well. So that's why I tried it. So uh, 10 plus 10 is 20. And 11 plus 11, we're doing this in English first, 20. Two, and this two has the same pronunciation as two. Um, and I was like, okay, let me translate. Let me try try this in Korean. And um, 10 더하기 10은 20. 11 더하기, oh, okay, I'll, I'll write it in Korean. 20. 11 더하기 11은 22. And, you know, it was like a light bulb going off kind of moment. Because when you say a noun, like, noun that ends with a consonant you have to add like yo when you want to say like 학생이요 so what are you 학생이요 um, how many people 두 명이요 so you have this eo this e portion and then it it hit me oh this e is the same e as number 2 e so 이십이요 so 이십이요 이십이요 just comparing these two, you can never know without context. You can never know whether the first one is saying it's 20 or the second one is saying it's 20 or both are saying it's 22. You, you, can, you, never, you never know. So I was like, I was so proud of myself for, on that day for making this scientific discovery. Um, you know, what are the chances? So I didn't hear this anywhere else. I actually came up with it. So you have to give me full credit for this. So if anybody else in the world tells this joke, they copied it from me. 저한테 어, 연락 주세요. 저한테 알려 주세요. Let me know if you hear this anywhere else. I literally came up with this. Yeah. 알겠죠? 네. <laughs> All right. They say, you know, I, new ideas are just combinations of old facts and old discoveries, old observations, but this one is, was brand new for me. 네 번째 볼게요. 네 번째. 미국에서 내리는 비를 부르는 말이 있는데 혹시 아세요? 아니요. U S P. 
Did you get this? USB. So this joke will probably stick around or will be valid and will make sense only for the next few years or so because people will probably stop using the same USB, just like you know the floppy disks. Do anybody remember floppy disks that you used to use? <laughs> but anyway, USB, universal serial bus, I think. Um, US is 미국, P. Yeah, so of course in English, you don't call those like USBs, you call those like thumb drives or USB drive, you have to say like drive, right? But in Korean, people just say USB, USB 있어요? So USB can be referring to the USB port, USB other things, but if you just say USB in Korean, in a Korean conversation, rogue, um, fei, taro? <laughs> Floppy disk, or oh, the, the disk that you are showing, that's even not even a floppy one, right? Like, the, like what was it? How, how big was it? 360K kilobyte? Uh, anyway, before it was even one megabyte, I remember. Um, so if you say USB, it just means the thumb, thumb drive. 그, thumb drive를 가리키는 거예요, 그냥 USB라고 하면. 만약에 if you want to say like USB cable, you have to say USB cable, USB tender, adapter, you have to add other words, but if you just say USB, it's just a drive. Oh, Daniel, uh, you, you are of the age of floppy disks. Okay, nice to, nice to connect with you. Yeah, like the, the time when you had to put in the DOS, DOS, disk operating system, booting disk and then wait and then you pull it out and then put in the software disk and then use whatever software you want. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go to the next one. This is the fifth one. Yeji Shi, Giyomneo. Giyomdawoyo? Gamsaeyo. Oh, Gi. Inneo? Omneo, Giyomneo. Gi inneo. Gi. 예지 씨가 없네요. This is the episode where 예지 um, discovered her own power of teleporting. 갑자기 순간 이동을 했어요. 순간 이동. 순간 is the moment, momentary. 순간 이동 is moving to another place. So 순간 이동 is teleporting. Um, 귀엽네요. So this is possible, this works because 귀엽다, to be cute, and 귀엽다, to have no ears, um, can sound very similar or almost the same or even identical when you say it quickly because 어, when there is a e sound in front, right in front of it, say 이 and 어 together everyone, 이 어, 이 어. So because of the characteristic of the E sound, the trait of the E sound before O, O is affected and it becomes Yo. So this is unnecessarily like a detailed <laughs> of an explanation uh, for this kind of dad joke, but still you need to pay attention to the details. And that is why whenever you want to tell this kind of joke, you want to uh, try not to enunciate it like 귀 없네요. If I had said like 귀 없네요, this joke wouldn't work. So 귀 없네요, 귀 없네요, 귀 없네요. So you have to kind of make it flow like that. 귀 없네요, oh 귀 없네요. And it's also funny because I usually never say to Yeji that she's cute. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. 이거는 uh, to be honest, I didn't make this one from scratch. Um, this is a common one that people sometimes tell. And it was just the delivery that we wanted to really do well. Um, 네, 그래서 귀엽네요. Uh, and also, this wouldn't have worked if I had said like, 귀여워요. And because 귀엽다 is a piup irregular, we have a full lesson on this on our website. Um, be irregular means whenever, like not with all the be verbs, but many verbs whose verb stem ends with be 
the p drops and it's followed by u instead. 귀여운, 귀여운, a, a cute person, 귀여운 사람. And if I say 귀여워요, it doesn't sound the same as 귀엽어요. So I deliberately said 귀엽네요, which means Oh, I see that. I acknowledge that you are so and so. And that way I can keep the up or yep part intact. So, yeah, very detailed approach. Very intentional, right? I should get Joe. Do you remember? Do you, do you understand everything so far? Is it all clear? Can tell you? No more, not too difficult. 괜찮아요? All right. So, yeah. It just if you miss any of these elements, it doesn't work. 그러면 다음 번으로 가 볼게요. 여섯 번째. 여섯 번째 아재 개그. This one also perfectly completely original to me. Okay? I came up with this for the first time. In human history. 예지 씨, 여름 휴가 간다면서요? 맞아요. 해변에 갈 거예요. 그래요? 그럼 이거 가져가세요. 여름이니까 파라솔, 파라솔, 파라솔. 파라솔. Maybe I exaggerate a little bit because when I say like it's the I'm the first person to come up with it. Maybe other people came up with this idea before and I just didn't know. But I was like looking at the piano in my house um, and then pa is fa in English, but in Korean it's pa. It's the same as fa and pa in Korean. It's just both pa. So uh, pa, ra, and isn't it la? Yeah, la. And la and ra are also just ra in Korean. Just generally speaking, uh, it depends on what word comes before or after. So, and then sol is sol. So I was like, oh, wait a minute. Parasol? Parasol can be expressed through a melody. So I was like, okay, let's try that. And fun fact, that keyboard that you saw, that um, piano keyboard, it wasn't even connected. The sound was added after the fact by Seungwan. All the Ajegek videos are actually filmed and edited by Seungwan, um, who is doing a ton of a lot of like social media content creation these days for our uh, several channels. So everything, uh, the director is Seungwan, and I come up with the jokes, and then I tell Seungwan, um, "Do you approve this joke?" And then he's like, "Hmm, yeah, green light," <laughs> and then. Um, he tells me, okay, how about you say it like that? 네. Tell us the rest of the notes' names. Do, re, mi, pa, sol, la, si, do. It's the same, but do, re, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. Do, re, mi, pa, sol, la, si, do. Do, re, mi, pa, sol, la, si, do. Do, re, mi, pa, sol, la, si, do. So, yeah, parasol. All right. 자, 그러면. 다음번 일곱 번째 일곱 번째 가겠습니다. Number seven. This one also original. I didn't see it before anywhere else. Wow, that is so. What? What is it? I mean, it's just so. Uh... It's just so what? I mean, it's just so. It's just so. And also, it's just so, it's so, just so. So. Wow, that is so. What? What is it? I mean, it's just so. Okay, so teleporting Yeji once again. So, so <laughs> it sounds kind of like so. So, of course, there's different uh, sounds. So. Korean, it's so, and so, so those are different, right? So, and so so is milk cow because so this part means milk, um, so so so, and I was like just so. Oh wait a minute, it sounds like so so, 
and then I had to find some find a cute illustration online of a milk cow and print it out on the biggest paper that we have and then draw it like that and another fun fact uh, behind the scenes kind of uh, fact is that we printed it out and then the paper was too thin so when I was holding it to, to film it for the first time 종이가 너무 얇아서 그림이 보이는 거예요 반대편에서 그림이 보이는 거예요 I'll write that and translate 종이가 uh, 처음에 출력했을 때 종이가 너무 얇아서 그림이 반대편에서 보이는 거예요. So when I first printed it out, the paper was so thin, so you could see the drawing from the other side. So I was like two pages, three pages. So I'm actually holding five different sheets of paper just to kind of um, hide the drawing. So yeah, the fun. Yeah, that's the fun fact that I wanted to introduce. And then Choso is milk cow, and So is just a cow, and So and just So. Um, yeah. And what's the difference between Uyu and Chot? So um, Uyu Chot is Uyu is here. This U part is actually the Chinese character, Chinese based. Korean letter for uh, cow. So uyu is cow milk. And chot is basically just any kind of milk, even from people too. So when you are, um, for example, talking to, talking about babies, you say chotsal here. Like babies' fat cheeks, they are called chotsal because those are those, those only stay while the baby is super small when they're small enough to uh, be breastfed. So breast milk is also called chot in some contexts. So yeah, that is just basically milk, but uyu is specifically cow milk. Okay. All right. Yodor <laughs> Pante. Another original by me. This one might have been a little bit difficult for some people to catch. So, 여덟 번째 같이 볼게요. What's up? Ready for some farm work today? I'm not. I cannot work today. I'm too tired. 너무 피곤해. Huh? Do not worry. I brought some of my homies to help you. Huh? Oh, Yezi. What's up? Was it not funny? <laughs> okay, before I explain this, I got a question from um, Emily. Can you use um, uyu or chat for almond milk? Um, you can only say almond uyu. Yeah, it's, it's funny because it's not even almond, like it's not even almond cow milk, but people say almond uyu too. And thank you, Superfluous, for saying, hands down, this is the best one. And <laughs> Syra, Syra, uh, my absolute favorite, the homies. <laughs> yeah, um, this one, the specific elements, the small parts, like all the words, sap, uh, homie, and not, they all came to me at separate times. So my parents, uh, they grow certain plants, like certain, I guess, crops in the little like piece of land that they are, um, um, where they're growing stuff. And I went to their weekend farm and I saw this knot. You know, knot is this tool, knot. You cut stuff with it, like especially rice, you cut stuff with it. And I was like, this knot sounds the same as the English word knot. Okay, I'm going to remember that. And then the next time I visited them, like a year later, I saw those, those homies. Homies are Korean. What, what, did it, what did we translate it as? Let me see. What's up? Ready for some farm work today? I'm not. I cannot work today. I'm too tired. 너무 피곤해. Huh? Do not worry. I brought some of my homies to help you. Huh? Yeah, Korean hand plow. Is it plow or plow? I'm not sure because I never say it. Um, I think it's 
Plow, right? Let me know. I'm I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's plow, plow, plow. Yeah. So, homi is similar to not. You can cut stuff with it, but you can also dig. So it's really kind of. It looks kind of like this. Yeah, yeah. So like that. And then it. This idea came to me, and I also kept it in the back of my head for almost a year. And then, sup? What's up? So everything combined together, all different times. And I wrote it in one sitting. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, plow. So, not homi sap. And the so at first I was I actually literally went to Taiso. Do you know Taiso is it's like a, a utility shop. You can buy all sorts of stuff stuff at Taiso, and. I literally went to buy an actual nut, an actual sap shovel, an actual homie to, to have a real conversation between me and Yeji. But everything combined, it was only because it was Taiso, Taiso only sells like cheap stuff. So it was only 12,000 won, 13,000 won, 12,000 won. But I didn't buy them. I called Suwan and told him, 어, 승환님 이거 살수 있는데 별로 안 비싼데 이거 한번 사면 어디에 쓰죠? 그리고 이거 어떻게 버리죠? So I was concerned that having a nut, having a homey, having a sub in the office wouldn't make any practical sense. So I returned all of them. 그래서 다 그냥 원래 자리에 놨어요. 그냥 갖다 놨어요. 그리고 저 혼자 I was literally after hanging up um, with Seungwan, I was sit, I was sit standing in the Taiso corridor where, where other people were passing and shopping. How do I do this? How do I do this? 어떻게 하지? 어떻게 하지? Let me look inside my Ajegeg book for ideas and inspiration. Ah, okay. Print out the pages and have, make an imaginary conversation between the tools. 그렇게 <laughs> 만들었어요. 네. All right, homie, homie, um, similar pronunciation. We have the ninth one, 아홉 번째, 아홉 번째 농담입니다. 아재 개그 아홉 번째 갑니다. Let's go. 예지 씨, 호주에 가면 지갑이 필요 없는 거 알아요? 왜요? 제 호주머니에 있는데 호주머니를 쓰면 되거든요. 호주머니. 그러면 할아버지들이 좋아하는 돈은 뭔지 알아요? 할머니 할머니 그러면 아이들이 좋아하는 돈은 뭔지 아세요? 어, 어머니? 용돈이죠 음, 그럼 난이 호주머니를 호주머니에 넣어야겠다 호주머니 속으로 그러면 아이들이 좋아하는 돈은 뭔지 알아요? 너무 웃겨. <웃음> 예지 씨, 호주에 가면 Okay, so 호주. 호주 is Australia. 오스트레일리아. Um, sometimes a long time ago I would see this name also used for Australia, but now these days it's just 호주. And um, maybe because people wanted to avoid confusing Australia with like uh, Austria. Not that many people do these days, but Australia uh, was also uh, an accepted spelling many years ago, but then Hoju. So Hoju and money. So yeah, I always wanted to tell this joke, but I just couldn't find a way. And then it hit me, okay, I can actually go to the bank and um, <laughs> make some currency exchange uh, from Korean one to Hoju money, hoju dollars, and I did. So uh, another fun fact, it was a really hot summer day in uh, June or July, July, I think. And I literally went, it, this, this bank is about five meters, 500 meters, 500 meters away from my office. So I finished up my lunch really quickly. I walked all the way there and sat, I pulled out this like uh, number ticket, 번호표, 번호표를 뽑았어요, waiting list. And then it was my turn. So I walked up to the counter desk 
and then I told them I need um, just a you know just a little bit of Hoju money, and then they were like, okay, how about how about two hundred dollars or so, like each, like one kind of note each, and then everything was ready. But then they were like, okay, fine, give me your identity card. I was like, I need an identity card to to withdraw Australian money, and the banker was like, yes. And it, I remembered, okay, every time I went to exchange money at the airport, I did present my ID card, right? So I was like, can you wait? Can I go back and come back? So I walked back to the office and I brought my, I took my ID card again to the bank and then waited for my turn once again. And the guy who was actually helping me 15 minutes earlier was gone it was his lunch time. So I had to explain to another guy once again from the beginning. 그래서 굉장히 오래 걸렸어요. Yeah. So yeah, just my dedication to this to this craft, 호주 money. And do, did you also catch how Yeji was like laughing in the blooper at the at the end? 너무 웃겨. So, quick quiz. Why is she talking in 반말? 너무 웃겨. Not 너무 웃겨 요. ID card in Korean is 신분증. 신분증. It's usually 주민등록증 or 운전면허증 or 면허증. So why is she saying 아 너무 웃겨 in 반말 to me? She doesn't. She doesn't talk to me in 반말. Yes, honeyberries, it's an exclamation. So she's not saying it to anyone in particular. She's, she's, she's just saying it out loud. She was talking to herself or as an exclamation. Ah, no more go. If she was actually turning to my side and saying that to me, she would have had to say, no more go. Right? 네, 혼잣말이에요. 혼잣말 아니면. So talking to oneself is. 혼잣말 and then um, exclamation is 감탄 감탄사 or 감탄 표현 감탄 is to, to exclaim and 감탄사 it's usually just one set expression or word 감탄 표현 when it's uh, applied of you know it's a variation kind of expression like this one it's, because it's a sentence you can say 감탄 표현 and 혼잣말 and what is identity card or identification card? ID card is 신분증. You say it like 신분증. And there are usually two types. You could bring your 여권 around. So 주민등록증, 주민등록증 is the pronunciation. 여권 is the pronunciation. 주민 is resident. 주민, you can be a 주민 of an apartment complex, or of a building, 주민, a resident. In this case, citizen. 등록 is registration. 증 is this card or registration paper uh, document. 주민등록증. It's usually the plastic card. It's the same size as your um, credit card, right? And 운전 is driving. 면허 is permit or license. 증, again, the card itself. So 운전 면허증. But people just say 면허증 um, when you ask somebody to present their driver's license. 면허증. 면허증 is fine. And 여권. So three types of 신분증 that are accepted widely in Korea are these. But 신분증 ID card. Okay, guys, we have just one last one, and we do have a few that we have in store to be published. Uh, our videos that you uh, that you know, like the ones that you saw, are scheduled. Uh, to be posted almost every day. So we have a few scheduled for publication. Um, okay, before we move on, there's a really good question by Stephanie. So if it's an exclamation to herself, could she also have said, Yeah, she can, she can say, Ah, 너무, 너무 웃긴다. She can say that. Yeah, and just one more. Yes, but... I, I hope to be back after we published 10 more. Are you enjoying this so far? Is this kind of live class something that you would um, enjoy again? 
어때요? 또 해볼까요? 다음에? 다음에 또 하기를 원하시면 어, 또 준비해 볼게요. <웃음> Sungwan and I were uh, even discussing at one point like are we making too many dad joke videos? But then it seems like everybody is enjoying those. Okay, the last one. This one is easy. Everybody saying yes, yes, yes for more uh, Ajay Gegu explanation live classes. And Ajay Gegu, I, I think. Okay, let's go. Ajay 씨. 네? 뱀하고 벌이 11월에는 없어요. 왠지 알아요? 네, 치우니까요. 아니에요. 아니에요? 그럼 뭔데요? No, 뱀, 벌. No, 뱀, 벌. Yes, it disappeared. No, 뱀. November 21st, last day of our Talk To Me In Korean book sale. Yes, we have a book sale going on. Bam! Bam! Not this. Bam! So, um, this was also to promote our sale period, which is over. Um, thank you everybody for getting our books during the sale period. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to get our books during the sale, um, I do still have a coupon code that you can use for $15 for $15 off a book order of $100 or more. This coupon code is good until the end of this year. And yeah, November, November, my boys, my children particularly loved this one. Like whenever I show this Ajay Gegu videos um, to my son, especially my firstborn, Jun, his name is Jun, he hits me so hard and he's he weighs like 40, kilos these days and he's like big and he's tall and he hits me here and <laughs> leaves bruises on my shoulder she's like ah it's so funny um, and he's also blaming for making him laugh and um, i always enjoy that um, november <laughs> yeah it was a sneaky promo smooth plug uh, no pem Pal, like fem, bur, um, that, and also uh, as we were wrapping up that clip, we just had this idea of saying bam and showing the banner, but then like me, kind of timidly saying bam and then the bam appearing. So yeah, Sungwan um, made that look really really good uh, when he edited it. Um, so awesome. We were, let me quickly, really quickly, I'm not going to play everything again, but let me quickly go over what we looked at, what kind of clips we looked at. So we looked at I am piece of cake. Talk to me. Yeji 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 I actually enjoyed going over the clips with you guys. This is like kind of like to me it feels like watching my favorite movie together with my friends. I don't know why. It's like I've watched this video before, but I want to show it to more people. Hey, like everybody gather around. Let's sit down with popcorn and watch this. And some people actually asked me in some of the comments, like, how often do you think about these, try to think, think of these Ajay uh, ideas? And my answer is 24-7. And even in my head, as I was saying popcorn, I'm like a part of my brain is thinking about ideas to kind of incorporate popcorn with K-pop, K-popcorn, a popcorn that is like singing and dancing, something like that. It's automatic. 자동으로. 아이디어가 생겨요. 아재가 되어서 그런 것 같아요. I think it's because I officially became an 아재. And yeah, I think it's the genes working. And yes, soon you will be able to make your own uh, dad jokes in Korean. And you know what? It's, it doesn't only work with um, English and Korean either. So here's a quick uh, question. Pat yourself in the back. <laughs> pat yourself in the back. Is it in the back or on the back? So patting yourself is "스스로를 uh, 칭찬하다." You can you can say it like that. 스스로를 
대견스러워하다. 예, 스스로 좀 대견, 제가 이렇게 말할 수 있죠. 저는 제 스스로가 대견스러워요. 대견스럽다 is a very, uh, very advanced expression that you can say like you're proud of usually a child like your student, somebody that you helped kind of grow and improve. 아, 대견스러워요. 대견스러워요. And I can say, oh, 제 스스로가 대견스러워요. And uh, this didn't make it into a clip, but some, sometimes there will be random 아재 개그 idea moments with other languages too. So you know in Spanish, ir is to go. And my co-worker, he's a developer. He was, he's, he lived in um, Spanish-speaking countries for many years. So he's helping other Talk to Me Korean team members learn some Spanish, beginner level Spanish. And then he was like, oh, I can't join today's study group because I have to go do some ir. And I said, uh, tienes, tienes que ir para hacer ir. Aquí. If you speak Spanish, you, you know what I mean. Tienes que, ir a, tienes, tienes que ir para hacer ir. So, yeah. I, I hope you get that. So there are some moments like that. And let me, let me see if there are some questions. Okay, everybody's saying that I shouldn't stop with the dead jokes and uh, also do another, um, one another live class explaining some dead jokes and yep all right that's it everyone thank you for joining <laughs> everybody got it okay cc thank you um 감사합니다 오늘도 놀라 놀라 센사도 라고 하셨어요. 오늘도 라이브 수업 함께 해 주셔서 감사합니다. Fun fact, I, I enjoy giving you these like little fun facts. 함께 is together, 하다 is to do. One thing that a lot of native Korean speakers don't know is 함께 하다 is one word. The spacing rule is that 함께 하다 is one word. So if you uh, see someone saying, thank you for doing this with me, being together with me, like in Korean, and then the two words are written together like that, they know their Korean spelling. All right, thank you. 그럼 우리 다음 시간에 또 만나요, 여러분. And the next live class will be on Friday, this Friday. And right after this one, um, you will also see another scheduled uh, live class uh, in the live feed on our channel. So please check back and I'll be there again with another live class. 다음 시간에 만나요, 여러분. 감사합니다. 좋은 하루 보내세요. 바이바이.